Hi, and welcome to our channel, Come Draw With Us. Today, we'll be walking you through this tutorial step-by-step -step on how to draw this tombstone. The first thing we want to do is set up our canvas to have the symmetry. So click on this wrench icon up here, and then click on Canvas, click on Drawing Guide, click on Edit Drawing Guide, and then at the bottom, select Symmetry. And you should see this line show up. If it doesn't, click on Options and make sure Vertical is checked. If this line is too faint, you can always increase it by increasing the opacity and thickness at the bottom and click Done. With this setup, now when we draw on one side, the same thing will show up on the other. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and draw the shape of our tombstone. Once you have the shape that you'd like, go ahead and just drag and drop the color in. And we're going to go ahead and duplicate this layer. And on the top layer, click on it and then click on Alpha Lock. Now we're going to find a medium gray color that we want our main gravestone to be. So click on the layer again and click Fill Layer. On the bottom layer, the black one, we're going to move it up to create some dimension. So click on this arrow, the selection tool, and just move the black layer up and to the right. And then to um, make it a little more realistic, we're going to go ahead and connect the gray and the black. So using black and on the black layer, go ahead and just, um, and I actually want to make sure the drawing assist is turned off. Go ahead and connect these lines. Now we want to add some shading to the front of the tombstone. So click on your gray layer and then add a new one and we'll make it a clipping mask. Change the blend mode to color burn and then using a, a medium gray and using the soft brush found in your airbrushing category, we're just going to create some shading around the outsides of the gravestone. So let's also turn on the drawing assist on this layer as well. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and add some texture to the gravestone. So go back to the gray layer, add a new one, and it will automatically default as a clipping mask because it's underneath another clipping mask. And in your um, textures library, there's a, at the very bottom, there's one called grunge. That's the one we're going to use. Choose an even darker gray, somewhere close to black, and just lightly go over the gravestone give it some texture. Now we want to add some engraving, some words onto our gravestone. So let's go to the very top and create a new layer. And using the same color that we made the gravestone, go to your wrench and click on add and then click add text. Because it's gonna be the same color as your, your, your gravestone, it's hard to see. So just move it to the side right now and then double click the text like tap it twice with your finger and this box will appear. Click on the font, the name of the font, and the font that we're going to choose, it's a default in Procreate, it's this Paris Metro. And then you can click on your keyboard and type in anything that you'd like to be on here. And once you have your wording or your dates, whatever you'd like to add, um, we'll go ahead and let's duplicate this layer. Turn off the bottom one, so we'll just keep that in case we want to make any changes. On this top layer, 
click on it and click rasterize. Now we can add um, effects and things to the layering here, the lettering. So in order to make it look engraved, we need to add some shading to the top and the left sides of the letters, and we need to add some highlight to the right side and the bottom of the letters. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. We'll add a clipping mask, change the blend mode to color burn, and again, using kind of a darker gray, and also using your soft brush, go ahead and add the shading to the top and the left sides of the letters. the highlights we're going to add a new layer make it a clipping mask and then using white go ahead and add the shading on the right hand side and the bottom side of the letters Once you're happy with the shading and the highlights, go ahead and select all of the layers, all of your text layers, and then hit the selection tool, this arrow, and center it in the middle of your tombstone, and you can make it as large as you'd like. And the last thing we need to do is add some texture to the letters. So click on your texture letter, layer, add a clipping mask, and then selecting either black or a dark gray and also using that grunge brush in your texture pack, go ahead and add some texture over your lettering. And you can turn off your drawing guide. And there you have your tombstone. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this tutorial simple to follow. Please stay tuned for more easy Halloween tutorials because in the end we'll put them all together to make a super cute picture. Thank you.